All right, so I guess I'm going to repeat. Um, what's being expressed here is that this is like a show with technical difficulties. <laughs> it's like a show, but there's no one running it. There's nothing that anyone can do about it. So it could be pixelated. It could be choppy. It could not be appearing the way that you want it to be because it's a show and no one's running the show. You can attempt to try to fix it. You can attempt to try to um, sabotage it, but it's just a show. There's no one here. Like in a show, <laughs> there seems to be a character that, that takes this lead position, that this is my show, that this show is happening to me, that this becomes my dramatic show. This becomes a show of whatever seems to happen, but it's just, just a show with really nothing happening in it. So it seems like that there is a trajectory, that there's a beginning, a middle, and an end, but the show is appearing only like this. There's nothing outside of this show. So there's no other channels. You can't change the channel. You can't rewind it. You can't pause it. You can't fast forward it. It's just a show. Again, the character thinks that you can control the show, that you can pause it or rewind it or fix things, but it's a show that's not really good or bad. When there's this idea that I am running the show, that I am the lead star of the show, then there's a suffering because it gets frustrated with the show. It gets frustrated with the idea that it's just going on, that it's, it's not going the way that you want it, the way that someone wants it. But since there's no one running the show, the show is just perfection already. And it's unknowable. The show is not about anything because it's not by anyone. It's not for anyone. It's just a show that's happening. Let me go to a little bit of story here. When there was this, this is just a story again, there was this child named Emerson. There was this first glimpse, this first seeing that there's something off about this. There's something that is not really here, but it seems to be happening. There seems to be an imagination that is making the show something different. So it tries to contract the show into my show. That there is something that I am doing that I can do, that I can fix, that I've screwed up, that I have done. And it's happening to me. When there's this seeing that there's no one in the show, there's just this relaxation. There's this, oh, wow, it's always been a show. <laughs> there's never been anyone here on this show. I thought this was my show. So that burden, that that big backpack of rocks called me or whatever imaginary thing it is seems to be gone when the show is just seen as a show that no one's running the show that there's no purpose to the show that there's no meaning to the show that there's no significance to the show the show is just appearing and also not happening. So it's not really a show. I'm just trying to show you that the show is a show so that it's seen that it's a show. <laughs> and nothing else. You can't even call it a show. But for word's sake, let's just call it something like a show. With characters thinking that they're so serious. It's, they're dramatic. It's like, it's like a... Everybody's w wanting their Oscar award. There's nothing wrong or right about that. It's just all acting, but there's no scripts. So it's just a free-flowing show <laughs> with no before or after. Everything is appearing instantly. Although, in the show, <laughs> there is this wanting to be out of the show. Wanting to be liberated of the show. I don't want this show anymore. I want a different show. 
I want the Emerson show, but there's no Emerson show here. I want the liberated show. There's no such thing. Again, no one can change the channel. No one can rewind, fast forward, or pause. Because all the show is this. This is all of the show. That's all I can show you. <laughs> that there's only this and there's nothing outside of this. So to think that there's something outside of this is just a show thinking of another show. And the big revelation is that <laughs> this show will show you that you're not real. <laughs> this show <laughs> is showcasing the naturalness of this, that there's never been anyone here, that says no one will get this show, no one will figure it out because it can't be figured out. It's just a happening. So let's use the languaging that everyone knows. I just wanted to, <laughs> there's no intention here, but I just really like creating these concepts to pull out that it's just a concept, that it doesn't really mean anything, like a show. There's just this seeing that it, there's this happening, that there is this seemingly a rerun of shows over and over again. So when the show is seen as a show, crying happens, laughter happens, but for no one. It's a surprise when it's seen that there's nothing, nothing happening. But it's normally always been like this. It's always been a show. Nothing is everything. Beautiful show. Empty is fullness. Awesome, stunning. Since there's no one here, um, I'm expecting some questions. <laughs> Please go ahead and raise your hand if you have a question. No one can see me, right? No? You can hear me though, right? Okay, good. What a shit show. <laughs> you're visible to me. Oh, you are. Oh, awesome. You're you're the chosen one. Do you <laughs> whoever that is. Hi, Emerson. I thought this was a dream. I thought that this was an illusion. Now you're calling it a show. <laughs> These are just words. What's being described here is what's being expressed is that this can't really be called anything. That's why it's flipping around because it can't really pinpoint something that doesn't really exist. So there's no show. There's no dream. There's no illusion. But since the, the parent of listener to this one thinks that it is real, that it thinks in thinks that, you know, it, 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 it has concepts about ideas, about anything. So what this communication is trying to express is that anything and everything that you think of, any concepts that you think of, is just a concept. So a concept is being expressed to expose that it's just a concept. The story is being exposed that it's just a story. The show that is, is being expressed, that it's a show, meaning it's not real, but it feels real. Have you ever been caught up in a show that you really think you're really kind of like really in it? And then you're, you, you think that you're, it's like this, but not really like this. The character feels really, really strongly that this is happening to me, but there's no you that it's happening to. It's like life is just happening by itself. The show must go on without you. So when there's this apparent dropping away of the character, when it's seen kind of like, ha, there's no one here, the show still goes on. It doesn't need you. It doesn't need um, this idea that I am the, um, the lead star of this show, the main character. 
there's nothing wrong or right about that. It's just being expressed here that that seems to what's quite obvious is that there's a whole bunch of um, ideas trying to make an idea real when it's not. Emerson, can you talk about the dream analogy? <gasps> There's a small video. Um, <laughs> it's like five minutes, and it plays this over and over again. So what's being expressed here is that this is kind of like everything that I say is very similar. It's very simple. Um, this is like a dream, but it's not like a dream. It's like a dream, meaning that nothing is happening but it's seemingly everything is happening, kind of like in the nighttime when there is a dream that feels really real. The moment that there's this seeing that none of that really happened, what's being expressed here is the same as that. So anything that you can think about, anything that you have dreamt about, anything that you have pictured to be or perceived to be is not really happening. It's kind of like saying that this is really all still. And what seems to be moving is a dream sequence, but for no one. What seems to be happening is really not real, but it appears real. Like in a nighttime dream, that split second that there's a wake up, although no one wakes up, that split second, that split moment, there's no moments. It's just all emptiness. So what's being expressed here is that what you're listening to is emptiness. What you're seeing is emptiness. Even if it's lagging, it's still emptiness. Even when you're not seeing anything, it's emptiness. So everything and anything that you could think of is empty. But emptiness is full as well. That's the tricky part. When everything is being expressed as emptiness, and everything seems to be appearing as full, no one can really picture it. No one can really make an idea of it because it's not an idea. This is kind of like going under the radar, kind of like trying to express that this is a dream and then pulling the plug and saying that it's not a dream. Can you talk more about emptiness, Emerson? Um, emptiness is just another concept, right? So we keep keep on getting stuck at different words and ideas. And that's what's being expressed here is that any ideas or concepts that you have or you don't have actually um, is just popping out. So anything that pops out is a concept. Everything and anything that pops out is a concept because it's coming from a concept. You are the mother concept. <laughs> You are the concept creator, but there's no you really. So there's no creating. So it's just like this play of concepts that keeps on reinforcing the concept over and over again. So it's concept after concept after concept after concept. And it just goes into this cyclical pattern of concepts. Since it's very, it's very um, convincing that everything seems to be real, the concept cannot catch that real is also a concept. So nothing is real because that's just a concept as well. There's no truth because it's just a concept as well. There's no false because it's just a concept as well. There's no you because you're a concept as well. So the conceptual me keeps on coming up with concepts to keep on reinforcing that it's actually a real person. But a person is just a concept. It's just an idea. Are you guys hearing me okay? You can't see me, right? Is it more stable now? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Yes, we can see you also, Emerson. Oh, wow. That's awesome. <laughs> um... Can you comment on the new speakers? There are no new speakers. That's just another concept, see? 
that there's a speaker and there's a seeker. That's just a concept. So there's really no one listening and there's really no one talking here. There's really nothing happening here. Everything that is happening is conceptualized by the concept. Anita. Yeah, so in the show. In the show? Angry yeah, angriness can arise. Yeah. 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 Because there's no one running the show, right? So no one's written the show. It's just a show. Anything can arise. Anger, laughter, crying, frustration, anything and everything. Because again, no one's running the show. That's what I mean by it. Because anger arises. If there, if there is someone running the show, if someone is you know, writing the show, then they can just write peacefulness and blissfulness all the time. <laughs> That's why there's no free will or choice. Someone can just write, you know, oh, I'm going to be, you know, blissful. But that's, that's just an imagination as well, right? Everything is happening automatically, instantly, all at the same time. There's no time and there's no distance. Everything is actually really still, but there's an apparent movement happening. But all of everything is an apparent as well. Kind of like when you're watching a show, everything is just appearing automatically. There's this idea that you can rewind a show, but you can't. You can rewind it by thinking about it, but that's not really rewinding. Yeah, when you were speaking about concepts, then yeah, there comes a thought of more doing the inquiry. But I no, no, that's just a concept no. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah there's yeah. no one doing the inquiry, right? So who's going to do the self inquiry because there's no self? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah so this this conceptual um, speaking is not trying to address anyone. It's exposing that there's no one. Mm. It's just an illumination that there's never been anyone here. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Anita. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Emerson. I always get a headache listening to this, but there's always a feeling of relaxation and then a headache and then a relaxation. What's happening? Um, there seems to be a, um, I'm not really sure, to be honest. If you want to talk about it, please go ahead. But the relaxation is, you know, seemingly that resonance that nothing is happening. The headache sometimes is the resistance that this is real. So it's the resistance and then the resonance, the emptiness and the fullness seemingly seen together, but by no one. Because there seems to be a belief um, in, in what's appearing and when it's being expressed that nothing is appearing. So there seems to be a confusion. Hi, Emerson. I seem to be relaxed after I listen to you, maybe for a day or two. And then the me comes back. What happens? And why does it happen? There's no me that comes back. There's a concept that there is a me that comes back. But since there's a belief in that concept, there's a belief that this show is happening to me. So when there's an apparent contraction or something, it's seen that it's it just made the me real. The show is about me again. When it's being expressed here that there's no one in the show. OK. 
can you do a daily Zoom meeting like what Andreas did? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> can you talk about unconditional freedom? Unconditional freedom cannot really be talked about because it's already appearing as everything. It's appearing as your um, headache, the bliss, the contraction. Since it's unconditional, it appears as everything. Unconditional seems to be what everybody is holding on to a word right now. So they've conceptualized unconditional freedom. And that's why there seems to be a request in talking about unconditional love, unconditional wow, unconditional freedom. But when it's unconditional, it cannot really be understood because it tries to conceptualize something that cannot really be caught. So unconditional freedom is already what is appearing. All the confusion, all of the, even the crying, even the, the frustration that I will not get, ever get this is also unconditional freedom expressing or being expressed as, exposed as whatever seems to be happening. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> um, no, I don't have any, there's no one that has any relationship. Someone asked if I have a, any relationship. No. No one has any relationship. There's a concept called a relationship. There's a concept seemingly that there's two people that get together. But when it's being expressed here that there's no one here, it doesn't mean that there's no one here but there's someone out there. Or there's no one here but there's a we that I am in a relationship with. There's no one here but there is others. That seems to be a you know that seems to be a confusion, which is which is not wrong or right, right? There's just seeming, when it's being expressed that there's no one here, it means that there's never been anyone, at all. Did I paint the wall? Yes, earlier today I painted it black so that um. <laughs> Hey, Emerson, could, could you talk about what a knowing means? Seems some speakers talk about there is just a knowing. Yeah, since there's no one here, there's no one here, there's no one that, that, that there's never been anyone here. So what seems to be seen is that there is a knowledge, a knower and a knowledge. Since everything is, is, is just happening, everything seems to rise up, but it's not known, it's actually a knowing. So everything is just unraveling, nothing is happening, everything is seemingly appearing, but it's also not happening. Ember seems, everything seems to be known, but it's actually unknown. So instead of, you know, the, the suggestion here is like, I know that, the, the answer most of the time is like, I don't know what's going on. I really don't know. There's this, there's no one, no one grasping anymore of the knowledge or no one memorizing anything or no one learning anything everything is spontaneous and instant so everything is unknown so everything that's happening is unknowing there's no knower here so when there's knowledge there is a knowing and um thank you for that question harvey emerson can you talk about free falling it seems to be this is what seems to be happening that there seems to be a greatest hits of these words that <laughs> that there is you know the open secret you know there is the unconditional love there is uh the unknowing there is the um so all of this again this is going to be, get thrown um it's seemingly that that there is this grasping of the the ungraspable so by attaching it with the word like unknowing or free falling and, you know, this greatest hits trademark kind of like, you know, uh, sayings by, by 
some of this character's favorite, you know, uh, non-duality speakers, there seems to be a, like a, an underground knowing, like the knowing has gone underground, like, well, I know, you know what, I know how that feels. I know what unraveling feels, or I know free falling, and I know this. So what's being expressed again is that there's no knowing, it's just all unknowing, and it seems to be, um, it's just a story as well, it seems to be deterrent in what's being expressed, that it's just so simple and clear that it's already appearing as everything. Go ahead, William. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Emerson. Hi. Yeah, so basically, I'm completely disoriented after the retreat with Jim. <laughs> this is kind of cruel then, huh? <laughs> so basically, it's kind of like my reality's been shaken up dramatically, and I'm trying to find some stable grand ground to stand on. <laughs> and I'm really struggling is that kind of just the me wants to reorient itself after it's kind of been challenged like its belief system? Yeah, so so what's being expressed is that the this, this story is being revealed that it's fictional. So the story tries to come up with, you know, fictional stuff to make the story real. So it's feeling disoriented, but it wants to, you know, blanket itself in more of um, a story so that it can keep the story alive. So it's being exposed right now that there's no one there, that there's no one, no William, that is disoriented. It's just disorienting happening. There's no William that feels that it, it's losing because there's never been a William. There's no William that went to a meeting earlier because there's no meeting earlier. There's no William speaking right now. It's just an idea that feels real, but it's not real at the same time. And it's shaking its head in disbelief because it wants to hold on to that belief that it is real. It's holding on for its dear life, but the life is not even real. That's just another concept. There's no such thing as life. It's just a word. I'm shaking my head because I'm thinking I shouldn't love this message what as head? much as I What <laughs> message? <laughs> I'm thinking, why do I love this message that keeps denying my reality? No, you don't love this exist. message. There's no you to love this <laughs> message. <laughs> You're right. Love's arising. It's just, this is just all the unconditionality yet, right? Again, no one knows what unconditional is. Trying to put in conditions what's being said is trying to make it real. Nothing that's being said here is real because it's looking at the unreal and the real appearing at the same time, there's no distinction now. So this is all emptiness. Everything that is being expressed here is inexpressible. It's attempting without any agenda just to express what's quite obvious. So what's obvious is that everything that is appearing is this. This is the whole shebang. There's nothing outside of this. Everything that you think about, you feel, everything at all is emptiness. This is nuts. <laughs> but thank you, Emerson. I'll enjoy it. Emerson, I've seen your videos of people falling away. What happens there? Nothing really. Nothing. There is this expression, and when the expression is seen that there's nothing happening, the seeing that nothing happening is seen by no one. So if no one saw it and nothing's happening, did anything really happen? No. <laughs> <laughs> but why are there videos of them? I don't know. It's just a happening.
has a funny question here. <laughs> Emerson, so sex doesn't happen as well? Nothing is happening. <laughs> there seems to be, you know, there seems to be um um this idea that that um what's being talked about here is um understandable. I don't understand it. You won't understand it. What's being expressed is that there's just this unknowing, unraveling. Everything that appears is not really appearing. Everything that is seen is not really seen. Everything is nothing and nothing is everything. Kind of like the story that I was sharing with you earlier when I was a little kid that there was this, this is a story again, there was no little kid. But in the story, there was this kind of like thinking, is this really happening? It's the what the fuck moments. Is this really going on? But there's this belief that what's going on is really going on, that it's happening to me, that it's happening to, to, to me. And then that me becomes the ruler of the existence of something that doesn't exist. It becomes something that is the central figure, character, and it tries to, thinks that it can control anything and everything, including the idea that there's something that I can get here. Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this is a fair question, but... Go ahead. Uh, it's logical in a, in a realm where logic doesn't hold. No. Um, but anyway, nothing needs to change. No. As, as I understand or... Yeah. As, it, as it's been said, but, but nothing is everything. Nothing is everything. It's not, not, not even nothing so, appearing as everything. It's nothing is everything. So everything needs to change. No, nothing needs to change. I, I can't hear you. Sorry, nothing needs to change. There's nothing happening, right? So who's changing things? Uh, I'm not saying anyone. Okay. I'm just saying if nothing needs to change, doesn't everything need to change? The same thing, yeah. Same thing. Nothing and everything is the same. There's really no change happening, though. Right. There's this idea that there's change happening. Again, there's this appearance of change always happening, but nothing is happening. It's kind of like saying the same thing as this is um, movement appearing simultaneously as stillness. This is silence appearing right. as sound. It's the same thing. It can't really be understood, right? That's why, you know what, that's why it's so, it's so seductive to, to kind of like, you know, listen to this sometimes is because it wants to imagine the unimaginable. It wants to comprehend something that cannot be comprehended. It wants to know what cannot be, what can't be known. So everything that's just happening here is just this unknowing. There's no one here. It's an unraveling. So what's just being expressed here is just this illumination that nothing needs to be understood. Nothing needs to be known. Nothing needs to change. Because everything that there is, is this. And there's nothing outside of this. So everything that seems to be happening is also pure emptiness. That thought, that idea, that laughter, that doubt, that shirt, everything everything there's nothing that's not included it's all emptiness this is all emptiness the brick wall the blue shirt the glasses is emptiness the blinking everything is and it is and it isn't at the same time simultaneously that's right yeah it is and it isn't again before we get caught up again what and what is and isn't again we're trying to imagine it again right it, it's trying to figure out something that is really can't be figured out. So we try to use word is and isn't, what is, is, ising, all these words that we're using. And if, 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 if the veil is just seen, that every single word that you're saying is all emptiness, that there's nothing really wrong or right about that. 
then there's this seeing through that veil that, oh, wow, everything is just this. It doesn't have any words. Mm -hmm. And the words are the veils because it's coming from a veil. The ideas are a veil because it's coming from a veil, and the veil is you. The me is the veil. The me is the lens that sees this perception of duality. There's nothing wrong or right about that. It's nothing that you can get rid of. But once it's seen that that's just being filtered through this lens of separation, then wholeness is seen again. Wholeness is seen, seen again. Because there's no one that is, when it's, when it's, the, when it's the, the trickster or the illusion or the maya or whatever you call it, or the show character is seen through that it doesn't really exist, then everything that it perceives, sees, thinks, understands is unreal appearing as real simultaneously spontaneously it's in everything so what's being lo looked for what's being longed for seems to be absent because it appears in everything it appears in every emotion every thought in every feeling and every taste in every hearing and every seeing Everything, nothing is excluded. So the air around you, the dust, the dirt on the ground, the flowers, the paintings, there's no separation, the couch, the shirt, the laughter, the resonance is it and isn't. You can't capture it by disappearing in everything. And once it's seen that this is a cosmic joke because it's like a hide and seek, but no one really hid, then there's this laughter and this relaxation. You're like, oh, nothing is hidden. It's appearing in everything. It's appearing as everything. Nothing is everything. So what seems to be looked for is the, the death or nothing or the absence or the stillness or the peacefulness, whatever word the human money use, because words can't really capture it, is actually everything. So everything is already peaceful. Everything is already still. Everything is already enlightened. Everything is already awakened. Nothing, no one went to bed. No one woke up this morning. Everything is completely this. Nothing is excluded. That's very nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Rosa. Good morning. Good morning, <laughs> Rosa. Good morning, my dear Emmy. Good I morning, just, Rosa. I'm just enjoying the funny way you are talking now with those sound interruptions. <laughs> it's really so cool it's so freaky <laughs> and you know it just is this it's uh perfect. pure and unknown perfection you know for nothing perfect and it, i think it's it's really wow i'm just in a wow <laughs> <laughs> okay thanks enjoy thank the show thank i love you. you i love you too thank you yeah, I don't really know what's going on, but there seems to be kind of like a disruption and everything. But that's what seems to be happening. In this stillness, there seems to be disruption, which is the static, which is the, um, the illusion. This is perfectly still, this is perfectly clear, but there seems to be this disruption. Although there's nothing happening. Hi, Nancy. Hi. Um, Hi. I just very spontaneously raised my hand. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't really want to talk, but I'm going to anyway. Go for it. Um, <laughs> Go for it. Um, I, you know, this mind is never, never going to get this. Because and, there's no mind to get this. That's why. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And... <laughs> 
And there's a sense of giving up or letting go of everything, just mm. a sense of, of that. And, um, and it has nothing to do with whether, you know, if I'd let go of this and just, just, okay, I'm done, you know, mm. I'm done. Um, give up the search as they say, but that's just kind of a, a saying, but um, just, and, and, it doesn't mean that I, I will or will not continue to listen mm-hmm. to these meetings. It doesn't mean that apparent change will or will not happen. Mm. It doesn't mean anything. It just means that this mind will never get this. Yeah, it's 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 kind of funny when you say, when you say that because there was this when there was this seeking character named Emerson, and um, there was a giving up, you know, sem- seemingly giving up of the seeking. Um, it's kind of like, uh, <laughs> I'm going to say, it's kind of funny. It's kind of like when you announce on Facebook that you're taking a break, that goodbye, Facebook, you know, and you you're, you say goodbye to all of your friends on Facebook and you're back three weeks later. Um, there's no one doing it, right? So there's no one giving up and there's no one that um, is seeking as well. So the giving up, thinking that someone is giving up or someone is seeking is just reinstating the... Um, the illusion that there is a seeker if it's yes. seen yeah if it's seen that it's just what's happening meaning that there's no history anyway right so there's no um trajectory it's just what's happening then there's this release um of the seeing or the holding on to that there was someone that's been tired from the seeking or someone is is going to give up or not give up because the one that you're you're ex- expressing is to me is the one that is seen as unreal. Yeah, you yeah. know, I, that that's the thing is that that there's no way that I can I can give it up or let it go. Yeah. There's just there there isn't there I can't there's you know like you said that re, that's a reinforcement of the secret. Yeah. So so it's almost like I don't know like you know I don't know what happens, but it, uh, it, I could equate it to like, let's say, an alcoholic uh, hitting rock bottom and yeah, finally yeah. just going, oh, OK, I give it all up, yeah. you know, but but I, I, I don't really know. I don't really know. But it's just uh, there's no one to give it up. And yet there seems to be or there's a sense of just letting it all fall away. Yeah, so so the one that thinks that it's giving up or the one that seemingly follow away is actually infinity. It's is infinity. what? I didn't hear it's that. It's infinity. Oh, yes. Infinity yes. appearing as a giving up, infinity appearing as whatever seems to happen. So when there's no distinction, distinction between giving up or seeking, it's exposed. That is just the infinity expressing infinitely as a seeking or non-seeking. Yes. Yeah. And then when it's exposed that it's when it's seen and seen that the one that's trying to give up or the one that can't give up is the same illusion. It's just infinity appearing as this illusory giving up or not giving up. So meaning that the whole seeking is a fraud. It's exposed. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So what are you talking about, Nancy? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> oh, Emerson, you are wonderful. Thank you. You make me laugh. <laughs> Thank you. You're here in Emerson. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Emerson, for those unlisted videos. I had an apparent um, falling away. I don't really want to say anything, but thank you for nothing. Yeah, nothing happened. Thank you. Emerson, have you become more brutal since uh, becoming a speaker? (laughs) <laughs> brutalness happens you know in expressing something that is quite obvious um 
especially when there is seemingly kind of like a belief. It's kind of like um, how do you how do I say it? It's it's someone that's convinced that something is happening, and then the kindest way is is kind of like when when there's a child that um, I, I don't even want to say a child, someone, there's no one, is waking up from a nightmare and they believe that what they saw is real. You're not gonna say that yeah it did really happen and you can do it this way and that way. You can say no, snap out of it. <laughs> Nothing happens. Is that brutal? I guess so, huh? <laughs> I'm really scared of you, Emerson. <laughs> Le yeah, why don't you raise your hand and we'll talk if you're scared. It's not scary. No, no, no. It's just... There seems to be a fear around, you know, communicating about this because it's the it's the it's almost like the exposure that, you know, it's it's I uh, um someone was sharing this with me and and I really like this analogy. It's kind of like a con. When the con is being exposed as a con, there's a fearfulness. The con keeps on believing it's a con and all of this stuff or kind of like a lie that gets keeps on getting exposed as a lie and um it's it's just really it's just really unconditional love. It's just an exposure that that even even if it's a lie or a con or something, it's actually unconditional love. There's nothing wrong or right. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. Um, can you talk about unconditional love? Okay, here we go. Um, this, everything, the yawning, the thinking, the sneeze, and the hiccups, the air, the wall. See, I'm actually saying things that are knowable. But actually what unconditional love is, unknowable. So the sneeze seems to be knowable because there's a me that thinks that it knows this, it's sneezing. But what if the words were all taken down? What if all the subtitles were taken off and all the sounds was, was taken out? What if, what if what I'm saying right now is getting keeps on getting lagged by the internet. So what's expressing here, even if it's not understood, everything is unconditional love. S but there's a limited idea of, you know, the, the, the me character thinks that it's conditioned. So it thinks of this or that. It thinks in separation. There's nothing wrong or right about that. It sees, it filters everything through a lens of separation. So when it's seen that that lens of separation and what is seen is not separate, meaning that the conditions are completely seen as conditions, then everything is unconditional love. Nothing is ever excluded. Do you have any fears? No, no, there's no fear here because there's no one to have any fear here. I don't even know what that means anymore. William, go ahead. Hiya. So are there any goals that are worth pursuing? For who? Just in life, you know, for the person, for the What mood. is life? <laughs> it's unknowable. <laughs> who knows that? No one. Okay. But... <laughs> <laughs> No, but you know, like in the normal world of how what's the normal live? world? <laughs> duality. <laughs> what's duality? The sense of feeling separate from what's apparently happening. Isn't that just an idea? <laughs> Who's having that idea? <laughs> well, nobody knows. 
<laughs> it's like, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, right in the normal mainstream narrative, you have to make something of yourself and become successful. So everyone has what's goals. The mainstream, what's the mainstream narrative? Everything that you're coming up with right now is just a story to keep the story alive. It's the William story, right? So William has this all of this knowing about the narrative, about the real world and everything. The one that's thinking all of that is the illusion. The one that's thinking of that is is there's it's just no one. You think that it's coming up from a knowing or a knowledge, but what if I tell you that everything is just appearing instantly, it's just popping out. It's coming out of your mouth automatically and there's really no one there. The illusion that it's coming from a volume, the illusion that you have all of this idea about what the normal world is, the narrative that there's this knowing that there is someone there, is the illusion. That everything that's actually coming out of your mouth is just silence. It's already empty. It's already dead. I'm talking to death right now and death keeps on trying to make a case that it is William. That William has to die somehow. But it's already dead. Emerson, now that you're not there, so this, well, there never was nothing. <laughs> now that you're not real. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever set goals and say, like, I'm going to achieve this? I don't know this. what goals are anymore because that seems to be set in, you know, it's just an illusion thing, right? It's kind of like when there's this seeing that everything is happen happening instantly yeah. why would you want to set goals it sounds ridiculous right if everything is <laughs> happening automatically and instantly there's no point in having goals because it's kind of like oh i have this fantasy that something will happen if i set goals but if everything is seen that everything is simultaneously and spontaneously appearing as it is what are goals what's a past what's a future there's this bewilderment that Oh, all that there is is this, and there's nothing outside of this. If goals, the idea goals come in, like, what are my goals? Then it becomes funny. I giggle now when I see I'm like, oh, I used to have this goal when I, when I reached 50. There's no one here. No one turned 50. I'm nothing to achieve. Yeah. Who will achieve it? If everything is automatically, simultaneously appearing as this is, there's no history, there's no past, there's no future, all that there is is this. It's like, what's the point? Yeah. Yeah. If it's a knowable, there's no next, there's no before or after. It's not even a belief, it's quite obvious. And all the belief is, is tumbles down. All of this belief system is, is seen as, it's kind of like see, seen like it goes down the drain. The moment that the believer is seen as not real, that's what's being exposed here, that the one that's talking there is not really there. The idea that there is a continuum of William, of a history, is the illusion. So what's appearing there is just this expression, blinking of the eye, no one's choosing it. So if you say that there's a goal, can I laugh? <laughs> there's no goal. It's it's already I'm... perfect. Whatever seems to be appearing is is a know unknowable. So to try to know it, to try to control by setting up goals or whatever. It's a story. It's it's kinda like it's <laughs> it's kinda like reading a book. And then, and then basing everything on that book. You think you're the book. There's no one in the book. There's no book. It's just this. There's no show. It's just this. Not even this. Because the moment that you think that this is it, it's not that. It's that, it's that, um... It's that seemingly, um, <laughs> how do you explain it? The unexplainable. The moment you try to grasp it, but even the grasping of it, even the not getting it is also it. It's confusing, I know, right now. It's, it's trippy. 
it's like an acid trip because what you think is not is also it. So what you're looking for is everything. It appears in everything. So liberation is in everything. Enlightenment, awakening, whatever word that you have, they're just words. Um, words are to label separation. So what's being expressed here does not have any separation. Everything that you label with words is, is, is infinity. It's already free. The words that you use are bonding it, capturing it. And it's already peacefulness. This is peacefulness. This is stillness already. Thank you, Emerson. Yeah. <laughs> Someone said, William is the bravest seeker. No, there's no William. Don't try to make it real. There's no seeker. It's okay, though. If you try to make it real, there's no one choosing. <laughs> Can you talk more about unconditional love, please? That was not satisfying enough. <laughs> no, see, that's what I mean. When when all of the speakers speak, you know, that's why in, there's, there's no one doing it here, but there's this character tries to flip the script all the time. It doesn't hold on to a script because the moment that a word or an idea Although what's being expressed here is not an idea, it's not a concept. The moment it's conceptualized or made into something that is has meaning, that word relaxes me. What Emerson, when Emerson talks about the dream, I did not talk about the dream. I actually said there's no dream. And it's like a dream. So it's flipping the script because this doesn't land anywhere. This is not about knowing Kind of like what Harvey said, it's about unknowing. So the moment that it's known, then it becomes a story. What is being expressed here is this, this freedom that cannot be caught in a story. Because the moment that it's caught in a story, it becomes a personal, independent, individual. Freedom doesn't have any borders, any narrative any stories it's just freedom you don't even know what freedom is because the way that the perception is that when it's being seen through a dream or a story is that this is my version of freedom this is my version of this and then when there is a um there is a grasping of what speakers are saying when the speaker is saying something that is is um even the speaker's words, the moment that it's get repeated over and over again, it becomes a little bit of a mantra. There's a there se seems to be a pedestal positioning of a speaker that's actually not there. The moment that the seeker looks at the speaker as something special, it just made it real. What's being exposed here is that nothing is real. It's just really really simple. So what's words that are appearing here, the words that's seemingly coming out, it's not coming from anyone. The listening, there's actually no one listening. There's no one behind these eyes, and there's no one hearing this. There's nothing being expressed here, because it's not being expressed to anyone. There's never been anyone here. So if there's anyone here, there's no one there. The moment that this meeting closes, I never existed at all. Same as you. The moment that you close that you're not, you're, you go to sleep at night, that's an illusion. In deep sleep, the you disappear. William. Hi, Emerson. Hi. So basically, the reason I was asking you that question before is because for the last two years that I've been listening to this message, I haven't set any goals. But before that, I set a lot of goals and I was a lot happier because when I'd achieved them, I'd feel like I was getting somewhere. So do you think that the reason the me sets goals is because it feels like this isn't enough and when it gets to the achievement, it will find some fulfillment? What if I tell you that everything that you just told me is a lie? That there's no two years or three years or anyone that set any goals? 
And the lie keeps on coming up with the lie to make the lie real so that it can maintain the lie. That's what it's doing. And there's nothing wrong or right about that, but it believes its own lies that it thought that two years ago really happened and there were goals that were set that it felt happier before. So if it maintains a, a lie that there's someone that's happier or not happy, then it keeps on rotating that wheel of me, happiness, suffering, happiness, suffering, happiness, suffering. And it, it, it operates in that illusion. So what it, what's being exposed right now that everything that you've told me is not true. You're trying to come up with something so that you can maintain what's not true. Yeah. What's being offered here is the liberation that even though that all of that is a lie, it's all right. <laughs> I've got no response because I've got no response because it is like a bullshit has been caught out bullshitting. Yeah, yeah, but... that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> but I didn't know I was bullshitting. I thought there was some reality to it. It, it. It's such a good liar believes its own lies. It it it's it's it does right because it comes up the moment that it gets called out. They're like, well, I know that you know I talked about goals, but that you know I I really I have not any set any goals. He just made it real again, right? It comes up with another story, another narrative to maintain the lie over and over again. It keeps it real. By saying that, well, I know, and it just keeps on going and going and going and going. And it maintains the light. The moment it wakes up, the me comes back. You're like, oh. And it creates all of this narrative again. There's nothing wrong or right about that. Rather than seeing, you know, this is just a story again. This is, there's no me. But I'm just, I'm going to enter into a story to dispel the story. Okay? So there's the me that wakes up in the morning. Actually, there's no one that wakes up in the morning. And the app called the me goes, like Siri. Just goes, okay, today I have to shower, I have to brush my teeth and everything. But since that there is this, this app, the function is, although it doesn't have any function, is to make things real in this separateness, then it creates a narrative that it's the center of the universe. It's the central figure in the show. Then everything that's happening becomes a happening to me. It's my show. Although the show is just free, it's, it's, it's actually unconditional freedom. Since the narrator of the show chooses its own narration, it doesn't need any narration. It doesn't need any bullshit. Everything that comes up in your brain is a bullshit to make the bullshitter real. <laughs> I love especially you. in my brain <laughs> there's no brain there again see it came up with another bullshit didn't you just catch that that's brilliant <laughs> although it got called out it came back with this with this kind of like you know all in my you know especially me <laughs> <laughs> there's no you there's no especially you It's all Thank emptiness. You. So even even that is just infinity expressing as a bullshitter. There's nothing wrong or right about that. So when it's seen that everything that's appearing is actually infinitely expressing infinite in infinite ways, then it's free. Simple. There's nothing wrong. Fine. Okay. All right. Petra. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Sorry about the email. It didn't even go to your spam, right? Sorry about that. But... No, I, I, uh, I received it at um, 8.30. <laughs> it's very last I minute. Got I got a whole bunch of emails. They're like, when are you going to do a pop-up meeting? And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, I, I guess I forgot about that. But here it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about... Um experiencing in the apparent dream um as there are sensations and um apparently for someone it's unavoidable to not to feel separate yeah because, um, because the uh, because the dream or the show is real mm. feels real it feels real and and 
and it it it's so it's so um it's so shocking when 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 there's this realness and then there's also this unrealness simultaneously appearing we doubt any gaps right so when there is the believer that what it's happening is real it's firmly believe then of course it becomes very serious mm. it becomes very painful but once it's seen through that it's being seen through the li- the eyes and the lies of the um perceiver that the perceiver that is perceiving this that that is is seeing all of this realness is the main lie or the main illusion then then there's a relaxation can okay, like okay this is you know it's it's not held up held back anymore everything is expressed fully because there is a lightness even in the darkest storm i was watching um some of this um videos on facebook um and immediately relaxation happened and i was painting and uh, watching listening and it 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 was so clear and obvious but as soon as my uh, landlady stepped in uh, <laughs> because, the separation because was... you do you think that the landlady is separate it's mm. also fullness it's also infinity appearing as a landlady simultaneously yeah. there's no there's no separation so it could be it could be um um i remember i was i was there was lots of mosquitoes and there was mosquitoes i was mesmerized by them because they were you know i didn't see separateness there's no one here so the mosquitoes i hate mosquitoes and it was just like ah that's kind of mosquitoes it's just yeah that's just a story as well i'm just going to let some miguel out because he's scratching the door i'll be right back Let me just go back to that. So even when it's seen as the unreal real it's not taken um as seriously anymore. So there's no more stickiness to it. Even if it's the most annoying uh, neighbor or land, whatever, it's just seen as a happening. Reactions may happen still. You can say get out of here. And that's okay. Yeah. Or or you know what I did is I was mesmerized with the mosquito and I right away <laughs> there's nothing wrong or right about anything hmm. yeah thank you okay bertrand hi hey, bertrand. yeah oh, hi hey. yeah hi <clears throat> uh yeah so um recently in these talks there this i mean it seems like a story but it, like there seems to be a hesitation to ask questions um or say things because i th- i th- it's like a fear that it's like you said it's like a fear that the question is not valid already before it's asked like it it there's no yeah but is that also just another story yeah you just you just saw it right it's just another one yeah <laughs> Yeah. But, but like there's <laughs> nothing I can do with that. It's like okay, yeah, it's a story. See, there's no one choosing any of these words right now. So everything that you thought that you're going to get shut down seems to have the illusion that, you know, um there is a before and after. Right? So everything that's coming out of you is just fresh right now. There's no before or after. So if you don't want to talk about that, we can talk about something else. again that's coming up right now so the fear is the illusion that something is going to get pointed out most likely but who knows what's just being expressed here that this is just this immediacy of this with no before or after so you've never really talked to me before i've never really talked to you before the idea that i talked to bertrand before is just the illusion it's trying to get exposed here The idea that you're going to get shut down is the illusion. So what's happening right now is this emptiness talking to emptiness and there's no separation here. And it's quite obvious. 
there's a narrative and there's an illusion that there was a before and after that you got shut down or somebody got shut down but that's just a story yeah <laughs> so that yeah that came out is instant that didn't come from anywhere <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's so so it's like just talking yeah it's just talking it's not even talking i don't even know what to call it it's just these words i don't even there see i just made words something that's wordless so everything that's happening is wordless everything that's happening is infinite there's no time. Everything that's happening is also not happening. Because in infinity, nothing is happening for it to be infinite. Okay. Yeah. So everything is yeah. automatically happening, but it's not hap coming from anyone. Okay, yeah. yeah. And, and there seems to be, like, as, as you answer my question, there seems to be more things coming up about, that's like... Oh, but believe this, but believe that. But then it's also, that's also a story. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, this, this, this communication is not to pacify the me, right? It's not to coddle the me. So this expression basically is just um, an expression that there's never been anyone there. So it's, it's honestly saying that um, everything that's coming up is a belief. A belief in this, a, a belief in that, a belief in concept. There's nothing wrong or right about that, but it's just a seeing. It's just being exposed. Okay. <laughs> um, and what about the, <laughs> what about the, um, the sense that, Oh, okay. That's another story. Yeah, but there there's you go. nothing. But there's nothing right and wrong about no, it. No, if 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 it's actually seen that even you know because the immediate thinking it that there's something wrong with these questions, but when it's what's being exposed, that that's what you're looking for. That's infinity. That's emptiness. That is whatever. It's appearing in everything, in that word, in this word, in all the sound, in the light above you, in the air on your in the room. There's nothing separate. Even the stories and whatever. Yes, is it's and also I... emptiness. Yeah, there's this sense when I'm talking to you. At first, I think you're talking about something like something in specific. But then I slowly realize there's nothing excluded. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Like I'm slow... It's like, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> This character is a trickster, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> it's everything. It's everything. Everything. In including including the sense that I am here. Yeah. Yeah, that... there's nothing to get rid of. That's what's being expressed here. Everything. So this is not about getting rid of the me because that's also everything appearing as nothing. There's nothing, but there is a real felt sense of me here. And that's not about getting rid of that. It's what's appearing as well that's also not real. Because this feels real. Okay. But it's also not real. Meaning that this is <laughs> emptiness appearing as what? this feels real. <laughs> <laughs> Like the moment you said, but it's not real as well. I'm like, what, what are you saying? Yeah, because it's, <laughs> the, the me can only hold on. This, this what's being expressed here, it, it cannot be held. It's not, it's not understandable. If you've seen some of those videos, what usually happens is the off guard, the surprise of it. When there's the seeing in these uh, unlisted videos that I have, it's uh, it's when when there's laughter and there's relaxation, there's just seeing. It's the it's the kind of like well, even what before they catch it, before you make it into a knowing, it's the it's the um, it's the surprise of it. You mean to say that it's everything? Yeah. Everything and everything and everything. 
is the same. Nothing is excluded. <laughs> <laughs> And that too. Even the confusion is infinite. Emptiness. Whatever words you want to use, it's all of it. All of it. It's a trick. It's like wow. It's,、yeah. it's, it's wow, but I have no place in it. Do you know what I mean? It's like wow, but I have nothing to do with it at yeah. all. Yeah, yeah. That's it. It's everything. And there's no one here. Everything. <laughs> it's emptiness is everything. Everything that you're seeing, hearing, feeling, thinking is emptiness. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Don't be scared. It's just emptiness. <laughs> Uh, Steve. Hi, Steve. Oh, I can't、There、hear you.、Is. There it is. Okay. So, in, in a scene that apparently occurred with Emerson, there was a,、uh, there was a resonance and a loosening. Of the sense of,、uh, there's, a, there's a glimpse that seems to be occurring, which is great. But the fear has arisen. Oh no. <laughs> But the fear is also. How do I, it's also how do I hold、infinite. on to it? There was a glimpse, right? There was a seeing that everything is everything and nothing, meaning it's all emptiness. Sure. Even, even the fear is also emptiness. Sure. Nothing is excluded. It's all already done. Right. It's all free already. So even the not free is free as well. Even the me apparently coming back is also freedom as well. Nothing is excluded. Everything is everything is everything. This is non duality, right? Not non duality did this and not that. Meaning everything is included. Including the feeling that this is not it. I got it. I lost it. I lost it as also it. Hooray. It's always home. It's always this. Okay. <laughs> All right.、Uh, I had another thought. Yeah, go ahead. Sometimes I get, sometimes I get them. The, the, the idea of William brought up the idea of setting goals. Yeah. It, it, and I mean, it seems to me that, and I, I, I do that, I do that a lot. You just told me、But、a when lie. I, when, I, when I feel that told, that you just told has me a lie, to happen, it, it's you what? Told, you just told me a lie. Sure. Yeah. I was、you、just going to say. A story. That, no, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> I was just. I was just going to say that, that, that the goals themselves are really fears. That, that you're not going to do it. You're not going to get it done. There's nothing wrong or right about any of that, right? But when it's just seen that it's just narrative, that there's no one doing it, that there's no one having any goals, it's just goals happening, then it's just seen as a happening, meaning that everything is infinite, everything is emptiness. The moment that you come into the picture or the me narrative comes into the picture, you make it fractured. There's already freedom. The moment that the conditional me comes in and makes everything into conditions, it thinks that it is separated, but it's not. See, that's the illusion. The illusion is that there's you that's doing goals or having a narrative. But the illusion is that there's separation. But once it's seen that that separation, the perception or the perceiver is all the same. Everything is everything. Nothing is nothing. Everything is included. Nothing is excluded. 
I screwed up that up, but that's okay. <laughs> Everything is already this. Everything that you're looking for is this. Everything that you long for is here. Not you though, because you're not here. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Thanks again. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, Petra. So I'm not more alive the bear. than this guy here. There's no, there's no one there. There's no more aliveness in no. here. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Again, mm -hmm. there's no separation, right? So everything is mm -hmm. alive or dead. We don't even yeah. have a word for it. So everything, if, if everything is alive, then the AirPods is alive. If everything's mm -hmm. dead, everything is dead. There's no mm -hmm. separation. Again, these words are just trying to separate something that's never been separate. The words are the separating. It's kind of like having this um, um, uh, labeler, labeling mm -hmm. this or that. You know, there's a separate here and there's a separate there. When it's seen that everything seemingly is separate, is also complete, then there is peacefulness. Apparently. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming on a short notice. If you guys want to come back tomorrow at 8 a.m., um, it's going to be funny because I'm going to talk about the circus. <laughs> um, the circus basically is some... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Um, if not, thank you so much. There's a Kenneth meeting if you guys want to go to that one. That's why I ended at four because um, Kenneth is my buddy. If you guys want to see that. Thank you so much. I'll send a recording. Sorry about the internet thing. I'll fix it tonight. Um, thank you so much, Petra, Steve, Marley from Brazil, Robert, Anita, Lindsay, Michelle. Thank you, Harvey, Bertrand, Ali, William, Gail, thank you, Emerson. Antonella. Tim from, right. Tim from Tim from Korea, Rosa, Shady, thanks, OG, everyone, Nancy, and thank <laughs> you, Emerson. Emerson, thank you, Emerson, thank, thank you, Emerson. Emerson. Thank you, Emerson. Oh, I love you, love you, bye bye, love you, em love Emerson. You. Do you have two meetings tomorrow? Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, but so one is at eight your time, and when is the other one? I don't know. Um, one o'clock. One o'clock. Yeah. There's just this burst of excitement about communicating. I was writing a whole bunch of stuff and I was like, oh, this is so cool. Um, you know, talking about the show Circus and the other one is the party, which is my favorite. <laughs> uh, well, the early, yeah, the eight, we'll your, eight your eight o'clock one is a little too early for, oh, for my time. I'll yeah, have the but, recordings. But... Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. Very I'll cool. I'll have the recordings. All right. Um, yeah, there's just this this passion doing this stuff and no one's doing it. It's just this fun. Um, yeah. Why not? Why not? Uh, <laughs> why not? Wonderful. And Thank then, I, yeah, I, I got a whole bunch of emails. When is the next pop-up meeting? I just kept on getting it. I'm like, oh, you know what? Uh, it was like 6 o'clock in the morning this morning. That's why you got it really late, Petra, because this was just announced like seven hours ago. I really didn't think anyone's going to show up because a lot of them got to the spam, spam box. So, um, oh. but say hi to Kenneth for me, guys. I don't want to keep you. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, everyone. Cheers, buddy. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Elizabeth, Bye. Corey, Lila, Megan, Kane, and that's Monica, I think, and Eligio, Cheryl. Thank you, guys. I said Thank your you. name so that you see it, it's all emptiness. All of these names are empty. Mm. <laughs>